What's up Force Forex Militia? This is Parcival and this is the weekly outlook, the Forex maneuvers for the week of the 10th to the 15th. And we have a pretty big calendar this week. It's the beginning, it's the second week of the month basically, second full week of, of the month. And uh, tomorrow starting off with the French presidential election on Monday we have the Bank of Japan uh, that's Kuroda that's just medium news but you want to see what's going on over there because recently the yen has been extremely weak so uh, on Tuesday the CPI that's big news because we, we need to see what's going on with inflation and the Kiwi official cash rate going from 1% up to 1.25 so they're raising their tightening right so that should be a pop for the Kiwi and then the pound CPI and then the dollar PPI on Wednesday and then the Canadian uh, look, the CAD is raising uh, rates also. So everybody's basically raising rates. The unemployment on Wednesday from the Aussie, um, the monetary policy from the Euro. Now this is this is interesting. It looks like they're just going to keep their theirs at zero. So they're not doing anything. And then the core retail sales from uh, on Thursday and then on Friday just the Empire State Manufacturing Index okay so that's pretty much it for the calendar so now let's go to the charts on the dollar we have the dollar actually hit a hundred dollars uh, it, it hit a hundred hundred points or a hundred it hit a hundred dollars and as you can see it hit there and it it stopped for now you know it still is uh it's still going up um as far as what i can see uh it is in th there's an imbalance of where it's at right now it is actually diverging in, in in a sense higher now the thing is this can diverge for a long time um, from the last divergence or the last point of balance it went from 96 up to 104 over here so now it's actually looking like it actually might do something like that again from about 96 and it might go all the way up and hit this old top over here at 104 so I'm bullish on the dollar on the Dow the Dow 30 uh, we are we have gotten some uh, bearish sentiment so what is going on here is the Dow is now basically pricing in the uh, the rate hikes that are basically coming down the line that's going to start in in May they're looking for 50 basis points so the the Dow is basically going to look to price that in and that's going to take this lower on gold gold is long all right because even with the dollar actually going up the way how it is it is actually going to I think gold is going to continue to, to be long that's because people are running for safe havens so very possibly because the, the dollar is going long gold will, will go long uh, also instead of instead of that inverse uh, correlation so that's long Bitcoin. I'm looking for Bitcoin to go long, but my indicators, 
my indicators are saying that this is actually going to go short. So that right there says something. So um, as you can see over here on the sentiment on the lower time frames, it's actually bullish. But the last couple of days, it went up and then it came back down. So this is actually my uh, uh, super trend is saying that it's going to actually fall. But I, I still believe it's going to actually go bullish up until this point. So a short term bullish, but a long term bearish. It's coming down. All right. So on oil. I believe this is going to also be be bearish. This is going to continue to fall. Um, uh, so I believe it's going to come down to about $86, $85 around that area and probably then bounce and then go higher. All right. For the loonie, the loonie actually hit this point over here at 125, 124, 125. It bounced and now I believe and now I believe that the uh, loony is going to actually go higher um, but it's going to basically stay in this range because both the dollar and both oil will be going higher so it'll stay range bound for a while on the euro the euro is short okay since the dollar is going to continue to go to, to raise and the carry trade is looking very good for the dollar if it continues because the Fed is going to continue to raise the rates on the dollar from where it's at now 0.25 to to 50 I'm sorry is it, it's at 0.5 right 0.5 to 1 right so so the carry trade is with the dollar so I believe the euro is going, it looks like the euro is going to stay at zero. So people are going to want to put their money in a place where it can uh, gain a little bit of income, right? Along with uh, some capital appreciation, right? Okay. And the pound, the pound is most likely is also going to be bearish okay interestingly enough on the lower time frames my sentiment says that it's, it's it is uh, bearish also also here on the euro okay so let's go take a look at the ruble real quick since I was going over that and since the Ukrainian war is still on my hopes and prayers are with the Ukraines the, the Ukrainians uh, let's take a quick look and okay as you can see it's still it's still in a bullish sentiment uh, it came down big down uh, let's go to the four hour let's take a, a closer look at what's going on here and yeah it's still bullish this is this looks like a pullback so I don't know if um, the ruble is going to recover from this uh, I know that the dollar is going to be very very bullish so uh, I am going to make the call that this is actually going to continue to be bullish and let me see if that call is actually right uh, yes yes so yeah I'm going to make the call that this is going to continue to be bullish because also as you can see here there is uh, divergence right here and then from here to here so there is divergence and I'm going to make the call that this that the ruble against the, the dollar against the ruble is going to be bullish alright so that's it for that we are going to go over to trade miner and do the trade miner picks of the week for forex and stocks and then go over the, the review alright I'll see you over there here we are trade miner forex for the Aussie Kiwi from April the 11th to May the 2nd. I did not do the neural network on this one. Uh, the win rate is 80% and it's, it's, it's basically a sample from the last five years. Alright, and that is bullish. 
and it's bullish on Johnson and Johnson from April the 12th to May the 4th all right with 16 years a 16 year sample with, and puts it at 81.25 percent profitable all right now the probability for this to actually uh, complete or be profitable is low but I'm going on something that I'm basically seeing in the markets that people are moving over into the defensive sectors in stocks so uh, I took a look on healthcare the sector uh, L, uh, XLV and XLV is basically very bullish so I'm looking to basically move into J&J &J as my trade idea for this week for stocks okay let's go to the charts and map that out All right, so over here on the on the Aussie Kiwi we have that going in on the 11th which is tomorrow of course but uh, this is I'm doing this on Saturday but there you go for uh, Sunday alright so from the 11th to May the 2nd bullish okay and with my indicators it's looking very very much so that I'll take the whole position because it all looks bullish uh, it could be a little overbought but there you go alright so on J&J &J, as you can see yes this is looking very bullish and it's moving up through the pivots very nicely uh, interestingly enough it looks like it might be coming to an exhaustion point uh, so I have to be careful how I enter uh, as you can see it, it looks look very very uh, over bought so we'll see what basically happens with that okay so with that that's done so now let's go over oh interestingly enough within this time frame J and G is J and J is going to have an earnings report so that's something that's very interesting that that is basically going to happen because usually I don't get them when they're uh, having their earnings report but because of what I saw in the market that's happening last week I'm going to basically take that alright so now let's, let's go to the uh, the, the recap of the uh, I'm sorry the review of what's going on with my positions and this week we did pretty all right I, I believe it was down to 86 now I'm up to 92 I uh, took some profits on a couple of a couple of uh, stocks let's see what does that say okay here we go on Mac on the MACD I took about I took a half of that one doesn't it's not giving me the money amount there there it is okay on the MACD I took about a thousand off of that one on cat I took about 300 off of that one on Walmart I took a huge huge amount about 4,000 and on the euro CAD I took some off of that one that that one was profitable about three hundred and seven dollars and then a couple of losses on the Kiwi I think it was the Kiwi, Kiwi Swissy, and Disney. Okay, so this week I, w I went over last week, so that's pretty much gone. So let's let's just see what 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 we have here. Okay, so Cat Caterpillar is still it's it's in the negative right now, but that's still up. Let me make sure. Okay, and that should be out by, I believe, the end of the week or by by Thursday. Thursday, and then to think this is also on Thursday. Yeah, you can hardly see that. Let me let me let me bring this down a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Yep, there you go. April fourteenth, right? And that's Walmart. That'll be done. Uh, Salesforce CRM this is the long one I'm taking this one out in sometime in 
June, I mean, sorry, J July, and that one is uh, actually right now in a drawdown. Okay, the Euro CAD, I'll be taking that one out, I believe, tomorrow. When is that? The 13th? Okay, Wednesday. That'll be finished, and that one's positive for me. Microsoft is in the negative for me, and I'll be taking that one out. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like I have that up. Salesforce. And Microsoft, MACD, HD. Oh, that's right. Microsoft, I took. That is not one of the positions that I'm actually using for trade miner. So that was a position that I took uh, uh, off the record, off pretty much off the record. Okay, so the Mac uh, McDonald's, we basically took that one, and that one is coming out April the 26th. And I believe I did take a, let's see, I think I said that, yeah, right there, yep. And took a little bit off the top of that one. And then HD is trying to come back. <laughs> as soon as I took this one, it basically fell. Uh, but it's trying to come back now. And that one comes out uh, May the 22nd. May 5th the 22nd right so okay there's also one that this the Aussie Swissy that was not taken and the reason why I wasn't taken be is because I put in a limit on the Aussie Swissy I put in a limit and the limit did not get caught uh, that's a that's a first you know I, I would have thought that I would have got, got gotten caught but it did not get caught so I'm wait it's down here so I'm just waiting for that to get caught so it can hopefully it'll, it'll go higher and close out on the 26th higher all right so that will do it for this week for the weekly outlook and the trade minor picks and the review and if you like this content please leave me a comment please like this video if you if you like like the the content and subscribe if you want to want if you want more of this content i'm going to be tr trying to do more uh I'm going to go back to the roots of what this channel was about, which is to basically go over trading, trading strategies. And with that, I will say knowledge is power. Be power hungry and power to the people. This is possible. Oh, one other thing. This is the quote that I have on my channel. The closest thing to the Holy Grail is trading with the smart money. And I will be doing my best to go over those strategies to, br to bring you some of what to a look-see at what the smart money is basically doing. And with that, this is Parsable, signing out.